Greetings from Bellevue, everyone. Just kidding. I'm at, or we are, Amanda and I are, at View uh, Village. And this here is probably the nicest Apple store in Washington State. Anyway, we're just taking a small walk after dinner. For dinner, we had a very healthy, uh, healthy meal at Shake Shack, one of our favorite burger places, A Round. Is it around or a round? A round, around, same thing. A R. Around. <laughs> All right, I'm being a little silly. Yeah, we're just strolling around, and uh, I had a I had a mushroom burger for dinner. Portobello mushroom burger. And Amanda had what do you have? I need a classic. Shake Shack, yeah. She had the regular Shake Shack one. I um. I. I inadvertently ordered the mushroom burger. I thought that it was a, a, a burger with beef patties and then, you know, some mushrooms. Um, but apparently it was <laughs> the whole burger, the entire burger was um, mushrooms. But it was delicious. So no, no complaints, really. Anyway, this small here is uh, it's nice. It's very bougie. This is, this is a very high-end place here. This, is, this, this mall was built for Seattle folks that don't want to go to Bellevue like they're too lazy to drive across Lake Washington and this is where they come <laughs> it's real pretty here lots of plants and <coughs> plants and flowers here and this mall I think closes at 10 right and it closes at 10 Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the um, stores, like H and M, for instance, they close at eight, and it is it's a it's five minutes to eight right now. So we were trying to go to that store, and they realized that they were closed. So anyway, you know, there's no rhyme or reason for this video. Just giving you a glimpse of what this mall looks like. That's one of the things I do on this channel is show you what Seattle looks like. You know, just a, a taste of Seattle, if you will. Showing you the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, the in-between. Just a little bit of everything. That's what we do around here. And by the way, I'm shooting in 4K 60 frames per, uh, per second right now. That's the frame rate. <clears throat> giving you the highest resolution. And uh, part of that is because I have just acquired a computer that can process files that large. Before, I was not able to do that. Now... Uh, and now I have the uh, ability to do that with the tools that I have. However, it does take a very, very long time still to... I like these chairs though, the colors here. Um, to, to render, oh, not, not render, but to upload to YouTube. It still takes a long time to upload 4K files. Look at that. I mean, it's fancy, you know. It has like a... Because, because it's a... Oh, I'm walking. This mall takes advantage of uh, outdoor spaces. It sort of gives me California vibes a little bit, especially right now because it's it's warm. It's a warm night, warm evening. So, lots of families out. A lot of really good restaurants here for sure. There's um there's Din Tai Fung here. It's a good restaurant. Shake Shack's over there, by the way. That, that's where we came from. So we're there. Shake Shack. Um, didn't type on. You want to go through here? You want to go through here? I'm going to cruise through here. Uh, there's Din Tai Fung. What else is here? <laughs> oh, what's that called? Um, Babar. Babar. Which might actually be pronounced Babar. I'm not sure. It's a Vietnamese place. High end Vietnamese restaurant. Really good food. Yeah, pho is pretty good. Not my favorite place for pho. Expensive for sure, but you, you are, I mean, <laughs> it's Seattle, right? Things are kind of expensive. But um, for pho, look at this, it's nice. Nice here. Let's go left. Let's go left, let's go this way. Let's walk over to the, the pho place and then maybe we can go that way, rough around. 
Happy lemon? You want to get some of my happy lemon? Yeah, let's see if happy lemon is open. There is a happy, oh, happy lemon um, beverage dessert place here. I think they're known for their uh, waffles here. And what is this? Yeah, this is this a ramen place? This is a ramen place. Wow. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. And here's Happy Lemon. I have a kids play area here to the right. Ah, look at how busy Happy Lemon is. <laughs> um, not sure, but the sign says open. You know. Yeah, this mall here. Gets very busy. Sometimes we'll come here during the day, it is as busy. This is busy during the day. So I was actually wrong about the time. Well, actually, let me verify that. Yeah, I was wrong. And I apologize. It's actually. 8.13. Honey, let's walk over there to Bar and wrap around. Come here. Just, uh, let's go this way. I'm going to show you Bar, the Vietnamese restaurant I was talking about. And uh, also show you the North Face store. And, which is right here. North Face store. You got some uh, fine dining action going on over here. Swanky, you know. Eddie Bauer and uh, Gap on the left, and uh, yeah, so this is Piatti Restaurant and Bar, and Bar Bar is uh, right here. I thought, what happened to Bar Bar? Honey, Bar Bar, what happened to Bar Bar? This used to be. Oh, it's over there. It's the next. It's the next one over. So I'm um, across the street. Quality food centers. Parking is really hard to find here, and there is a garage over there uh, where you can have better luck with parking. There's also a garage on the west side, uh, closer to. There's garages everywhere, actually. Um, but yeah, one closer to Shake Shack, and then. Um, and then there's a garage here as well on the southern side of the mall. And there's Bar Bar there. We've eaten there many times. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's good food. It's pretty good. Yeah, what's this place here? This is Cafe Bar is what the sign reads, I think. You know it's expensive because they don't want to have the name of the place on fire. <laughs> it's Mr. West. It's not like expensive. It's Mr. West. Oh, wow. one day maybe I can have a restaurant and call it Mr. Ocean. What, what would I sell at Mr. Ocean's restaurant? Mr. Ocean's coffee shop. Oh, does that have a ring to it? Mr. O Ocean's coffee shop? What's that? What's that? Bamboo sushi? Oh yeah, let's try there. Okay, we've made a mental note. I've made a mental note. We shall come there. All right. There's a bunch of uh, stores, restaurants on this side too. Is that scotch and soda? There's a, t a Tesla store or a dealership there. You can buy you a Tesla there. And uh, maybe I should go in and put in a, or uh, get on the waiting list for the Tesla, what's that, Cybertruck. What do you think about that? The Tesla Cybertruck. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Cyber, Cybertruck, Tesla, uh, Tesla Cybertruck. Yay or nay? All right, there's Starbucks. There's two Starbucks here. This is the sm smaller of the two. Has a different vibe. Uh, Molly Moon's, yeah, next to that is Molly Moon's ice cream. 
right there. And uh, there's this paper source. Looks like a stationary gift shop sort of place. Oh, it is hopping across the street. Two Molly Moons? Wow, it is popping at U Village, especially on that side. And uh, cute doggies. And uh, Bin Tai Fung is right there on top of uh, Joey Kitchen. Wow. All right. We're going to go this way. This? Is it because of the word? <laughs> so for, for folks that uh, think all of Seattle is a war zone, there are places that are actually pretty nice in Seattle. Not all of Seattle is a war zone. I read that a lot in the comments on my very own videos as well on as on other people's videos. Like see something that has like that that's you know has Seattle in the in the uh, in the title or if the video is about anything closely related to Seattle. War zone, don't go there. You step to, step on needles. So again, I show you everything here, and uh, you make your own decision what you think of Seattle. But yeah, this is this is a uh, affluent area of Seattle, being that it's next to the University of Washington. It's going to draw. It's going to draw um, students, their parents, visitors, you know, locals, tourists alike. So this is a Starbucks here that I was going to show you. This is the other Starbucks. This is a huge Starbucks. I believe this is the highest uh, grossing Starbucks in all of Washington State. I might be wrong, but I think I heard some, I heard, I heard that or read read that somewhere I think about the uh, uh, reserves though Starbucks reserves there's two of them and uh, I think that those might actually bring in more re more revenue than this one uh, and and maybe maybe this one brings in more revenue not counting the two reserves uh, locations so we've pretty much made a 360 um, Shake Shack's over there. There's another parking lot right next to to uh, sh um, Shake Shack. You can't find parking. Park parking can be very difficult. You're seeing parking spaces right now because you know it's later in the day. Yeah, but we have more or less made a uh, full circle and. Uh, the Apple store where we, where we came from is over there. So hope you enjoyed this walking tour. Amanda and I are going to hop in our car and uh, go to the next adventure. All right, anyway, take care. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Peace.